Welcome to WWP Clips. This is the official Clips channel for We Want Picks. We will be uploading our individual fight breakdown videos here. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And as always, go to wewantpicks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Opening up the UFC 276 fight card, we have Jessica Rose Clark taking on Julia Stoliarenko. Jessica Rose Clark is two and three in her last five, coming off a first round submission loss. Julia Stoliarenko, two and three in her last five, riding a three fight losing streak and looking for her first UFC win. Jessica Rose Clark is a slick striker who's coming off that grappling loss to Stephanie Egger where she was taken down twice and then quickly submitted. Her striking is technically sound. She's got legit power. She's more of a boxer than a kickboxer, but she can be deadly from anywhere on her feet. She can be nasty in the pocket and she throws with bad intentions. We hadn't seen much grappling out of her, but... She has seven takedowns in her last three fights, including five against Jocelyn Edwards. So in her last couple of fights, she's really starting to add offensive wrestling and grappling to her game. Julia Stolyarenko is an interesting fighter to break down because she's got zero wrestling. She has a miserable takedown accuracy of 12%, but she's very slick off her back, and she's got a ton of submission wins outside of the UFC. She actually almost submitted Alexis Davis in her last fight off of her back with an armbar. Her striking's sloppy. She can be very hittable. She's got a negative striking differential of two and a half to four, but she's willing to brawl and she's got really heavy kicks. I love Jessica Rose Clark in this fight. I snatched up a money line bet on her at minus 140. I've seen that line fluctuate a little bit in both directions. And, and the reason I did that is because she's proven that her striking is slick. She can grapple when she needs to. I don't recommend it here because I know she's coming off that rough submission loss in her last fight. And Stolyarenko is very dangerous off her back, but... I don't think it's a factor. Jessica should be miles ahead of Julia in the striking. She'll have cleaner striking, solid power. I think she's able to cruise to a decision win on her feet. Julia's miserable takedown defense isn't going to be able to get it to the ground. I'm just going to hope that Jessica's not going to take it to the ground because why would she need to do that? So Jessica's the pick, and I got a money line bet on her. What do you think, Jekka Lutz? Uh, first of all, let me address the rumors. I know there's a lot of rumors out there. Uh, I will neither confirm nor will i deny that me and jessica rose clark are dating well i what i will say is jessica if you're looking to become an american citizen let me know so uh yeah this this comes down to what type of game plan is jessica rose clark going to bring into this matchup because her last fight versus stephanie edgar or egger she came in and was trying to grapple and i understand like the wrestling aspect but she was against the cage clinching a judo gold national gold medalist thinking like that was her best best path to victory which made no sense at all and what happened was exactly what everyone thought would happen in the instance she got thrown to the ground and armbar that's what happens when you're against judo gold medalist so she comes in this thinking hey you know let me let me get back on track with my wrestling she's gonna find herself in a world of trouble i agree with you 100 percent that jessica rose clark should pretty much dominate this fight. This is on the feet. She's a very good kickboxer, as you mentioned, with the boxing as well. She should dominate this fight on the feet, but she might come in. I have no idea why her team came into that matchup and thought, let me just bot let me try and just body lock, take down a judo gold national gold medalist, thinking that that was the path to victory. So she might come in and try to wrestle this girl. And you mentioned it against Alexis Davis. She almost armbarred her not once, not twice. It was like five or six times. If she is on her back, that is all she's a, basically a one trick pony, but she's very, very good at that one trick. She collects those hands and she throws those legs up and she will put you in danger very, very quickly. And you saw that happen to Jessica in her last fight. So this should be a Jessica uh, Rose Clark fight to win on the feet, but I feel like I, I can't not trust her. So I'm not going to put any money on her. I'm definitely going to be rooting for you, Jesse Jess. But, um, you know, she's going to be my pick, but I don't trust her. I absolutely do not trust her. Yeah, I mean, I, I do trust her. I actually think that loss it was eye-opening for her. I think she will button it up and not try to grapple because why would she, right? Why would she? So... DraftKings-wise, while I'm very confident in Jessica, I do think she wins. I don't see a stoppage. I think it's jabbing for 15 minutes. So I don't like Jessica Rose Clark in DraftKings, although I do like her with my money because I trust her to win this fight. What do you think, Jackie? 
But yeah, I'm not going to do uh, DraftKings. There might be a, a, you know, a multi-entry lineup on, on Stoli Ranko just on like, that fly. I was looking at inside the distance decisional action type bet. They're a little bit ahead of us on that. It's minus 160 for Stoli Ranko, so they realize that she's a pretty dangerous person uh, for inside the distance. Uh, my money's not going to be on either one. My DraftKings not going to be in either one. I'm staying away from this completely, and uh, hopefully Jesse just gets it done, honestly. Yeah, I think more and more in Monkey Knife Fight is probably a solid play because I think it's only striking. I think it's only striking. And Julia does throw out those leg kicks over and over and over. So I think they'll just be swinging at each other. It'll be a little sloppy on one side, a little more technical on the other. But I do think it's 15 full minutes of striking. And if you want to check out Monkey Knife Fight, all you need to do is say more or less on the strike line that you see here. And you can triple your money. That's weonpicks.com slash MKF. And if you want to take a stab at getting 50 free dollars from us, all you need to do is go to weonpicks.com slash bets. Sign up, make a deposit, and we send you 50 bucks as a thank you. Weonpicks.com slash bets.